Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru Channel. It is October 13th, 2016, and a very interesting article pertaining to Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin teaming up to expose the incoming cataclysmic events of Planet X. Back in June, I read a news article that was talking about Vladimir Putin giving Barack Obama, President of the United States, an ultimatum. You have 28 days to tell the American public about the incoming planet, Nibiru, and the Nemesis solar system, or I will go public with it. Now, I read that story in depth, and there is absolutely no way to corroborate that story because, number one, I would never get an interview with Vladimir Putin or Barack Obama. Now, a new story has once again surfaced stating, are Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump teaming up to tell the world about the doom of Planet X? Now, we've all seen recently that the Russian government and Vladimir Putin had a 40 million person, I guess that was a, an evacuation type of a psyop uh, that they were putting together uh, in their bunkers over there in Russia. I just recently heard that Putin has ordered all Russian citizens living abroad or going to school abroad to come back to the country immediately. And we've all heard of the United States and other governments digging and going underground with these huge bunkers. And are these conspiracies? Well, let's just put it this way. They sound like conspiracies, but they're is mounting evidence that this is absolutely occurring around the world. So let's just get into the article here very quickly. It states that Russian President Vladimir Putin is planning to warn the world that a mythical planet heading towards Earth is true if Donald Trump does not make it into the White House. So basically they're saying if Trump does not win the election, then Putin and Trump are going to get together and they are going to tell the world about the impending doom or the cataclysmic events that would occur if a rogue planet would pass through Earth's orbital plane, such as what has been documented in the Nemesis and Nibiru history that does go back 4,000 years into ancient Chinese writings, the Bible. And uh, there are several men out there that have given very well put together documentaries, a Gil Broussard is one of these men that has put together an absolutely phenomenal historical account of Nemesis, Planet X, and Nibiru. But let's delve further into this article. It says that is the shocking claim of a conspiracy theory going viral online. Conspirists and UFO seekers have been claiming for years that a mystical or mysterious, excuse me, large celestial body called Planet X or Nibiru was hidden away in our solar system on such an orbit that it would pass close to Earth every few thousand years. Now, based on Zachariah Sitchin's writings and books, the system comes through approximately every 3,657 or 58 years, give or take, we don't really know because we don't have the actual information. If it is being held from us, folks, you know, I guess we are definitely, like always, going to be held in the dark. And that is one of the reasons why I have this channel. I want to have that disclosure. I do not accept the fact that we are like the lambs led out to slaughter while we have lived our lives working and paying taxes for the government to just slip underground in their underground condominiums laced in all of the gold while we stay above and possibly stand face to face with destruction of this planet. Now, it states that the size of the planet and its gravitational pull is so big that it causes havoc on Earth by triggering earthquakes, volcanoes, Tsunamis is also one of them that, that we have delved into. It also says the theory was bolstered in January when NASA announced the discovery of Planet Nine, 
hidden in our solar system, and it was 10 times bigger than Earth. Now, I do remember hearing about that, and I got a lot of emails pertaining to that, and a lot of people thought that that was part of a, a disinformation that was put out by NASA and the government. And folks, listen, I, I have to be honest with you. This disinformation does happen. Governments do use disinformation. But, you know, it is up to us to get out there and dig up the truth. Now, everyone doesn't have the time to do that. But I have made it my time to get out there and dig up this truth. And there are several other YouTube channels and researchers that are attempting to do the same thing. We want to get to the truth. And just because someone contacts me and they say, hey, listen, Scott, I'm a professional this or I'm a professional that. And I'm going to tell you, in my professional opinion, all of this doesn't exist. Well, I may respect your professional opinion, but I also have my own opinions. And my opinions are based on historical fact, biblical fact, and several men who have researched this planetary system many, many years ago. And they came up with solid evidence, which I think is solid evidence. And once again, I'm going to throw these names out there. Um, Zachariah Sitchin, the history of the Anunnaki and the Sumerians. Carlos Ferrada, impeccable man. On the level of Einstein, in my eyes, Dr. Robert Harrington, and many, many others. And then, you know, we also have the conspiracy. Well, it might not be really a conspiracy, but all of the men that have mysteriously died in many ways who were astronomers and scientists, and they were researching Planet X. I think the number is over 100. So what are the odds of that? I mean, just think about it. Think about all the doctors that research cancer. What would you think if 100 of those doctors throughout the world that are researching cancer over a period of 25 years died? What are the odds of that? Died mysteriously. Those odds are pretty wild, if you ask me. So, once again, you have to form your own opinions, your own ideas, and yeah, maybe you have to get out there and do your own research. I put 12 to 14 hours a day into this, and I will continue. I will absolutely continue. Now, there's a lot of information that comes out on Planet X and Nibiru every single day. Now, let's get back into the article real quick. <clears throat> it says, in July and August, we ran a series of articles highlighting a three-decade-long secret war between the White House and the Kremlin, accumulating in a con um, confidential agreement between Putin and Trump. Now, I'm just going to let you know, um, I heard of this little tiff between Obama and Putin, like I said, going back into June. And Putin said, basically, you better tell the American people what is happening. I'm giving you till, I think it was the end of July, July 28th. If you don't, I am going to tell them, I'm going to tell my people, we are going to publicize this. And everybody thinks that Putin is a tyrant. And yes, they have underground dumbs, as they call it, deep into these mountains. Uh, I believe the United States government has 1,300 of them uh, throughout the United States. We have underground tunnels that stretch from one end of the United States all the way to Denver. And the huge conspiracy about the underground condominium under the Denver International Airport is a fact. So, you know, why would the United States government spend trillions of our tax dollars digging themselves underground? Why would all of these governments start to go to these extremes to get underground? And if you go all the way back into history, you will find that... The ancient people did the same thing. They went in the mountains, and I mean into the mountains, underground. They have been discovered. So these are not conspiracies anymore, folks. These are facts. The fact of the matter is our nations are preparing for something. 
is the threat of World War III a PSYOP? I can't tell you that for sure. I don't work for the government. But what is the big deal that we're going to have this nuclear war? Listen, the biggest and stupidest thing that I've ever heard is the threat of nuclear war. Because if this leader shoots a nuclear missile, the other leader is going to know about it, and they're going to shoot their nuclear missile. And what does that do? It wipes out mankind. Nobody is going to live. So that philosophy of nuclear war is just stupid. Absolutely stupid. So once again, we have to center our attention on finding out the truth. We need to get into this, dis this disclosure and we have to at least try every day to find out what the truth really is. That's my job now. I'm going to continue each and every day to dig. And there are things going on in our skies, folks. I don't get 2,000 emails per day of anomalies in the sky. You ever hear the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words? Well, we have a lot of pictures. We have a lot of video. There are things moving through our skies that no human being on the face of this earth has ever seen before. And no one is going to tell me any different. I will accept your professional opinion. I will accept your opinion in general. But unless you can hand me solid evidence that there is not a brown dwarf star s small mini solar system that moved into our solar system sometime in what 2014 2015 it's here now there are too many things happening on the earth increased earthquake activity every single day this entire year then people will say oh scott we have earthquakes all the time but not at this magnitude I think we're pushing on 50,000 recorded earthquakes in 2016. Yes, the earth moves and shakes and shimmies and quakes. I know that. I'm not stupid. Do I believe there's a cover-up? Yes. I believe that. I truly believe that. And so do a lot of other people. And we are seeing all, all of the signs. The signs are under our feet. They're in the air. And they're above our heads. Period. The philosophy with the government, I guess, what I've been told, they don't want to come out and say anything because they don't want the whole world to come to an end. Why? Because we outnumber them. Over 7 billion people on the earth. Why do you think the big push to take away the guns in the United States? Why? Hey, Americans are pretty tough. The Europeans are pretty tough. People around this world are pretty tough. And they're not going to stand for anyone's shit, especially if they're going to cause us and put us into a position of complete doom while they go underground and survive now would I want to be under the Rocky Mountains during a magnitude 10 11 12 earthquake nah I don't think so I'll take my chances up here with my brothers and sisters that I'm gonna fight with and with that said over and out I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. <laughs>
and a very interesting article pertaining to Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin teaming up to expose the incoming cataclysmic events of Planet X. Back in June, I read a news article that was talking about Vladimir Putin giving Barack Obama, President of the United States, an ultimatum. You have 28 days to tell the American public about the incoming planet, Nibiru, and the Nemesis solar system, or I will go public with it. Now, I read that story in depth, and there is absolutely no way to corroborate that story because, number one, I would never get an interview with Vladimir Putin or Barack Obama. Now, a new story has once again surfaced stating, are Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump teaming up to tell the world about the doom of Planet X? Now, we've all seen recently that the Russian government and Vladimir Putin had a 40 million person, I guess that was a, an evacuation type of a psyop uh, that they were putting together uh, in their bunkers over there in Russia. I just recently heard that Putin has ordered all Russian citizens living abroad or going to school abroad to come back to the country immediately. And we've all heard of the United States and other governments digging and going underground with these huge bunkers. And are these conspiracies? Well, let's just put it this way. They sound like conspiracies, but there is mounting evidence that this 